Hi guys, today we're going to be looking at a robotic rehabilitation glove. So first I'm going to show you what comes in the box and then we're going to take some time to go through some of these pieces individually. So the first thing that you're going to get is the rehabilitation glove. Um, the second piece is going to be called the host. Um, the third piece is a mirror glove. Then you have a training ball, instructions, two elastic bands, your charger, and then your um, carrying box so you can take this with you. So um, these are great for people um, who uh, have hand injuries or um, hand stretching uh, that they need to have done if you have torn ligaments, um, arthritis. Those are some of the great things about um, being able to use this. Now, if you have um, some unexplained um, bone trauma or fractures or um, sprains, you're gonna want to get your physician's approval before you use this. So um, let's go ahead now and take a look at some of the pieces uh, a little bit closer. The first thing we're going to take a look at is the robotic glove itself. It has um, soft, breathable fabric. It's very durable, and it has a um, very strong Velcro on it. It's very comfortable on the skin as well. Um, you can just um, do a quick uh, spot um, treatment if it gets dirty, but obviously you don't want to get the unit wet. Okay, let's go through what the host uh, is. We have the on-off button right here in the center. This is the main control um, button area down at the bottom. Here's our display area. There's a charging port right here. And then that's the rehabilitation glove interface. So the display area, um, the first thing I'm going to do is just turn it on, and then I'm going to put it on pause just so for the sake of the video we don't hear it running. So I just turn it on by pushing the center, and then I'm going to go ahead and pause it right there. So the mode display area is right in here, and that's um, going to include the automatic mirror and confrontation modes. That is actually changed um, by using this key right here. And then we have the battery status, which is up at the top. And the area over here, which will tell you if it's paused or if it's in running mode. We'll have the um, level display, which is right here in the center. Uh, and then the level adjustment key, uh, the plus is to increase it by one, and the minus is to decrease it by one. And then again, the stop start button is right here. So there is a total of nine levels that can be adjusted in automatic mode, and three levels can be adjusted in confrontation mode. So let's go ahead and um, take a look at how to put the glove on. Okay. We're going to start by taking the affected hand and we're going to put them right here in each one of the um, finger holes. And you want to make sure that your fingers reach the top of the glove. So make sure that they go all the way up and meet the top of the glove. Then you're going to tighten the wrist and the Velcro sticks uh, make it nice and firm. Is There we go. And then we want to make sure that we pull the inside of the glove fingers back as far as possible. And then fix the uh, auxiliary fixing strap around this way and pull it this way. And so um, if it's correct, then there should be no gaps in the, um, in the wrist when making a fist. Okay, this is called a mirror glove and this um, one, just insert it just like you would a regular glove, making sure that your fingers fit in each one of the holes. And you're just going to go ahead and tighten this with the other side. So mirror training, is, generally speaking, it's the coordinated movement of the intact side uh, and the affected hand. It stimulates the primary motor, motor cortex, which can significantly improve your limb perception. So I'm going to go ahead and put both gloves on. We're going to go ahead and put it um, inside the host, and then we'll um, see how it works. Okay, so I've gone ahead and I have plugged the um, robotic glove into the host, and I have gone ahead and put on the mirror glove. Um, the mirror glove actually has a sensor right here that you're actually going to be pushing, um, and then that's actually going to drive the robotic hand. So the first thing you want to do is make sure that you have your hands in the open position, and then we're going to just um, lightly um, make sure that we have the middle mirroring uh, area uh, highlighted, and we did that just by um, changing the setting right here. And then once we're ready to go, I'm going to touch the um, button so that we have the um, machine actually working. So we're going to uh, hit the pause. And so I'm going to go ahead and do that. And so what you're going to do is you're going to um, actively focus on the mirror motion of the hand during the left and right hand bearing image so that it can stimulate the brain's motor central nervous system uh, more efficiently to enhance the rehabilitation. So when you take your hand off, you're going to find that the glove opens up. Push it on, and it's going to mirror. Take it off, and it's going to mirror. So as you can see, this is really great for, um, again, just uh, training the hand uh, to uh, open and close, focusing really on the uh, mirror glove sensor, and then, uh, then actually focusing on the hands um, mirroring it so that you can stimulate your brain, motor, central nervous system more efficiently um, to enhance the rehabilitation effect. 
the instruction manual is very detailed and it does instruct you on how to use the other modes. Um, and so uh, you would wanna make sure that you read this very carefully before actually using the glove. But again, um, this is great for rehabilitation if for uh, hand injuries, bending, um, nerve damage, severe arthritis, and it really is a fantastic way to rehabilitate. Um, so I really hope that you get great use out of this. Again, if you've got any fractures or injuries that are unexplained, you will wanna make sure that you um, contact your physician first. But I really hope that this is as useful to you as it is for me. Thanks so much for watching.